Town Good from Willards to Pittsville to Walson Switch Road and Hobbs Road, bypass around Town Good and 50 Good to the Bay Branch. You're invited to the Trunk and Treat 430 this Saturday at the Lions Club in West Ocean City, located at 12534 Airport Road, right by the airport. Everyone's invited and it's free. Brought to you in part by Scout Troops 621 and 261, as well as Compact 261. Back to traffic for the Voice Radio Network. Traffic brought to you by Wolf and Meow, a different styling experience for your pet. Located at Victoria's Landing in Long Neck. Contact them at 302-390-5560 or at wolfandmeow.com. Ernie Hudson. Hey. Hey, good morning. Hello. It's Bill and Jessica. How are you? I'm doing fine, guys. How's it going? It's going great. You know what? I, I'm a little starstruck right now. Me too. Because I'm a huge, and I know you're probably going to laugh, and you're probably get tired of hearing this, but I'm a, I'm a product of the '90s, and I'm a huge Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. fan. Ghostbusters. <laughs> well, thanks. It's always good to hear. Yeah. Hey, that's a big Twinkie. <laughs> 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 Come on, can you say it for me once? That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Hey, his year. Yes. My man. Well, uh, how you doing, man? How's everything going? You know, things are really good, you know, um, in spite of uh, what the world has gone through the past couple of years. Um, I've been blessed to, you know, keep working and stay healthy. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just very in a very good place. Before we get into the family business, because um, obviously that's the reason why he called, uh, do you keep up with anyone or have anything to do with the Ghostbusters franchise from back in the day? You know, um, it's, it's almost like everybody gets together and we promise we're going to, you know, uh, stay in touch. And But I run into people different. Now, Bill Murray would call out of the blue and invite me to some party or something that, uh, uh, you know, we'll catch up. Uh, I'll run into Danny. Uh, the business we're in, you run into each other. Right. The Gurney Weaver, I saw her in New York uh, recently just uh, at an event. So, um, But I, I, I love them all, and uh, but everybody's, you know, busy yeah. you know, doing different things, and it's kind of hard to, uh, between work and family business, you, the real family business. Yeah, yeah, it's no, really absolutely. Business. I get it. I get it. Well, I was really excited when I saw that you were in, uh, you know, the first season of this show. Now... It, it didn't start on BET, did it? The, wasn't it on another network, or, or, or am I mistaken? Yeah, no, no. It, it started out with the idea of making a movie. Okay. And uh, but Carl Weber has this series of books called The Family Business. I think about nine in the series about this family. And uh, But he always wanted to do the series, and um, we went to BET, and they, so we turned it into, it became a series for them. And um, I think after the first year, they put it on BET Plus. But um, I think it's the number one show on, on their network. Yeah. Um, and fans have really sort of been drawn to it. It's been a lot of fun doing it. No, absolutely. BET is a family business now. You're in season three. But, uh, you know, this is almost kind of like it's kind of like a Sopranos type show, right? For people who don't know what it's all about. Can you kind of give us a rundown? Yeah, you know, it's about this family, uh, an African-American family, um, very ambitious. Uh, they own the largest exotic uh, auto dealership in the, in the country. Um, and, uh, you know, but they also are kind of a, a mob family. I mean, they are very much involved in some a lot of illegal activities. And, uh, and the head of the family, who I play, Elsie Duncan, um, really loves his family and, and, and believes so strongly in the American dream that by any means necessary. Uh, but he, um, so the entire family is, is involved in, in, in the business. And, um, and of course, when you reach that point of being successful in anything, then you create enemies and it's about their surviving. And this new season, it uh, takes on an international, um, you know, feel threat, and uh, you know, so it's um, it's playing on a, at a high stakes level that you, I haven't seen a lot of shows. Um, certainly dealing with uh, African Americans or Hispanics, or and, and the show is multi racial; it's not just African American. Right, right, but but um, I mean, you know, I, I can, it can kind of be compared to kind of like a Sopranos type show, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I never watched a lot of Sopranos, but yeah, I, I would think so. And you're Tony. <laughs> as, as for people who've never seen this show, we used to watch, you know, the Sopranos back in the day. So you're like the big boss. You're the you're the you know the head of the company, and you know basically um, it all stems around your family, right? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the family is, you know, uh, I think I got five children. So and they're all different, and they all, but they all uh, are part of this of this business. Yeah, and and you call you basically call the shots, and there's one yeah, kid, there's yeah, one kid the, who uh, wants to take over the business, and there's one kid right, who, yeah. who who is probably not the best to take over the business, but there's another one that you have in mind. But then they fight all the time, and and, and that kind of how it starts off. Yeah, it starts off with me and uh, my wife hoping we can finally uh, we set things up. We're doing great. Yeah, want to retire? I announce my retirement, turn over the business, but then. Uh, Life is not that simple. So right. not able to step away. And then here we are at and, season uh, three, like all those episodes later. No, that's great, man. Look, yeah. congratulations on all your success. I think this is going to go on. Any any plans for, you know, uh, more seasons, season four, five, any, you know, talks? I mean, you're the number one show on BET. Yeah, yeah. We um, The third season is, you know, uh, just coming out. And um, I think they're already talking about a, a fourth season. It's based on all those books. So it's a lot of stories yet to be told. Yeah, and um, it's just a lot of fun. However long it it uh, it lasts, it's, it's just been a joy. How is it working with uh, you know, like I mean, since you've been on three seasons already, it's almost like you're working with uh, you know your your work family. It's like the same people every day. Like you know, it's not like you're doing just like a quick you know stint here. You know, it's the same. You got Kai's got to kind of develop like a relationship there. Like, how is it uh, going into yeah. work, working with everybody, the same people? Yeah, it really is like family, but what's interesting about this show is, you know, normally on a show you'd have the, the main cast, five or six people, and then, you know, people kind of come and go, but there's so many stories going on around it, and we just get, uh, Sheila E. Uh, comes in and, and does a wonderful job, um, Stan Shaw from Fried Green Tomatoes and a, an amazing career on his own, he's a uh, uh, company's playing my brother on this, Steve Williams, who's been around, he did 21 Jump Street, I mean, it's just a great cast of people who, um, Miguel Nunez, who's been, I mean, these are veteran people yeah. who haven't had an opportunity to play these kind of characters, and um, and they just haven't done uh, a ball, and I'm having a ball playing with them. Yeah, we actually interviewed um, Sheila E., and uh -huh. she was just talking about how it's been so long since she's been, you know, acting, and, you know, she just had a great time. And then you also got Tretch as well from Naughty by Nature, right? Right, yeah, yeah. He comes in, and uh, it's fun watching him work. Um, it, it really, I mean, just uh, in Valerie uh, Pettiford plays my wife. She's she's she motivates me. She's incredible. Um, but um, Dar uh, Darren Dewitt, Sean Rangel, just a great, like I said, a great cast. Miguel Nunez, who's who's uh, just been around for as long as I have. Um, but yeah. Man, man, look, let me tell you, Ernie Hudson, uh, Winston, it, it is just a pleasure. It's so neat. And I'm sitting is, here, like, looking at some of the trademark uh, descriptions that they have for you. Frequently plays good, heroic characters, a rich, serious voice, and a muscular <laughs> physique. So I'm going to call you Ernie with the muscles from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the uh, you know now that I'm I'm well in my seventies, I'm not sure how long the muscles are going to be there. But no uh, way! I'm looking I, at the pictures. I'm looking at your pictures here. I don't believe you're in your seventies. I I'm I i do not want to believe that for one minute. Let's just stop talking about you know, that. Yeah, no, I I don't believe it either. But my son is fifty six, so I can't be. 56, you know? Right, right. Well, look, no, for real. Um, it, one. Scratch something off the bucket list. I got to talk to uh, one of the good one, one of my childhood uh, heroes. Yep. So oh, from the thanks. Ghostbusters, for real. I, I mean, you're 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 something else, Ernie Hudson. Uh, and you know, it's just definitely been, been a pleasure, been an honor to talk to you, my man. And and good luck, the family right. business on BET. Good luck with everything. Thank you, guys. Good luck with everything as well. Stay healthy and safe, and look forward to talking to you again. Man, I've been smiling through this whole interview. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have a great day. Thank you. All right, guys, take care. What $500?